right, so we've been working on all these fiddle tunes and, and we've sort of learned whether they've got an A part or a B part or a C part, however long the song is when, the, when uh, we go through the repeats and you know, you're in a jam and you've played your part, somebody else has played their part, and then there comes time to end the song. How do you end a tune? If you're sitting in a jam and it's time to sort of go, this is the end, what is the process of that? Well, in bluegrass, we, we usually insert what we think of as a tag. And you may have heard the phrase, now I don't know, I don't know where you grew up or, or uh, the kind of musical circles you've been in so far, but sometimes uh, the, the phrase shave and a haircut gets thrown around, right? So. You've probably heard that sound before. Okay, so that's very much um, sort of the concept that we're going to use, but expand upon it in this lesson. So typically, uh, if you take a, a tune like Red Haired Boy or, or some of the songs that you've already played, and it can be in any key. It doesn't have to just be in the key of A, um, but we're going to use A as the example today. And keep in mind, as you go along, you'll learn more about how to transpose and um, all these endings, whether you learn them in A or G or whatever key, can come in handy on a number of uh, fiddle tunes, but just I want to plant the idea of how the tag works, what to kind of expect when you come to the end of a song, and so it, it can vary, okay? It's just like anything. There are exceptions to this, but uh, on average, you're going to have about two bars that happen at the end of a song. So let me just play a very basic example so you can get that in your ear. Let's take a tune like Red Haired Boy, okay? This is when you learned back in the basic section. Let's say this is the end. Okay, so we're adding an extra two bars at the end. So we finish our basic melody of, of Red Haired Boy. Then we're immediately into whatever the tag is. Now there's no rules um, about a specific tag that's played this way. It's something that you're gonna hear musicians play um, differently every time they play a tune, okay? So, but there is sort of some roadmaps that I can give you that you can expand upon. You can take these, sort of make them their own. Of course, there's the classic shave and a haircut, which is the short version, right? So we're gonna take that basic idea to start off with, but stretch it across two bars. So one way we can do that is to start off, this is a very common, phrase that you would hear people play on the mandolin or on the fiddle and you know give or take a, um, a note or two there's um, a lot of different ways you could rearrange it but oftentimes you hear it starting high in the melody and ending lower so so we're kind of looking to sort of land in the lower part of the chord most of the time so in this case, uh, I'm going to show you a simple one that you can do using that, that A major scale. You're good and familiar with that by now. So that's going to be the opening half, okay? So over the first bar, five, four, five, open, open, two, five. Then open again, then we're going to walk 5-4 on A, open, 2nd fret, then stretch with our ring finger up to the 6th, and then open. One more time, let me loop that a little slower. Okay, now I'm using all 8th notes there. Down, up, down, up. Okay, and then we're gonna do a quarter note here. Then we're gonna, um, we can do a little slide into this and kind of, this is where our little shave and a haircut will come in. Okay, taking advantage of those open strings, but to, to kind of give you the basics of it, I'm just sliding from the second to the fourth. 
and, and you don't have to slide, you could go. But if you want to challenge yourself a little bit to use some of those articulations, you can slide from two to four. Then open on the A, two, two open A's. Then four, two on D. And then stretch up to the sixth fret and then open A again. You can use your open strings. So all together. And the whole band would end on that downbeat. So let me play it tagged on to the end of Red Haired Boy just to give you an example. So here's the B part of Red Haired Boy. We'll do the last B repeat into the tag. Here we go. 